Hello again, this is Jackson911 and this is part 2 of my PC build series, How to Build Your Own Computer. And this is installing the CPU, perhaps one of the most important, well, is the most important component of your computer. And it slots into my motherboard. And the motherboard and the CPU I've done unboxing videos for, so if you'd like to see those, then check out my channel. So, first thing I want to do is take the motherboard out of its protective anti-static <coughs> bag and obviously the motherboard is very sensitive to static electricity as is the CPU and the memory so although you can't see it I am wearing an anti-static wrist strap and it is connected to the case just in case although I'm also working in the kitchen which has no carpet so hopefully there will be no static so here is my processor which I'm going to be using it's a socket AM3 processor so this video of installing the processor won't be very good but if you'd like to see one, a better one, I'll put a link in the video or in the description for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is to very, very carefully, you have to be very careful with processes, remove it from the plastic that it came in. And just before I do that, as you can see here, I'll try and get you a better camera angle on it for you. Just here is where the process is going to go. Very, very sorry about the resolution of the camera, but it's all I've got. So, very, very, very carefully remove the processor from the protected plastic. And quite important, you only hold the processor from the sides and you don't touch the pins. Now, the reason it looks like I'm touching the pins is because it's actually some black back covering on there. Um, if you look at your processor there will be a small arrow just here on this processor showing you where the processor has to sit and if I look at this processor it looks like the arrow, oh this is motherboard rather, it looks like the arrow is just here. So we lift up the little catch like so and we carefully everything's careful when you're making a computer take the little pla black plastic off and very very carefully put the processor in now if you have it in the right place it should take no pressure at all to just drop the processor in never ever Put any pr any pressure on the processor. So just drop into place. And just, I don't, and also don't touch the top because it could impair the processor's heat sinking capabilities. So I've dropped that in place. Give it a little wiggle around. I'm pretty happy that's in place. Push the lever down. There'll be quite a bit of pressure on it, and snap it into place. So that now is the processor in place on the motherboard and as my camera is running out of battery and I want to make sure this is a thorough video I'm now going to pause the video and then show you how to put on the stock heat sink and fan which came with this process right so I'm now going to show you how to install the stock heat sink and fan which I'm going to be using for this project um, I'm not going to be using any other process I'm just going to be using the stock one as I believe it will be a lot easier so I'll remove it from the box and this is a socket AM3 processor and other sockets will vary including Intel sockets as well so we have the heatsink and fan assembly here and as with most stock processors now it has heatsink paste or thermal paste already on there so I'm going to carefully remove this plastic from the bottom and then hopefully connect this onto the motherboard so I'm just checking now that we have it the right way so we don't want to get it the wrong way although I don't actually think it matters so we will put the take the plastic off like so and that's very very important you don't touch that thermal paste with your fingers because it will impair the performance of the thermal paste. So we will, as per the manufacturer's instructions, 
we will connect this side first over the little hook put the processor on to the CPU like so I believe that is on correctly and then walk around to this other side and have a look at this so that processor and fan looks like it's seated correctly give it a little bit of a push down a little bit of a wobble just to make sure that thermal paste sinks in properly and then this is lever here we push all the way over like that until the heat sink and fan is completely secure sorry about that that's my phone so now as I'm not sure entirely how well the quality of that it turns out but we've got the heat sink and fan now connected to the motherboard and just so you you can get a better angle I'm going to take the camera from the tripod although it's being very very awkward at the minute there we go right so if we come to here as you can see we have this side connected and here is the lever I was talking about so all I did was bring that lever over quite a lot of pressure and pushed it down and then that heat sink is secure and the same with the other side just hooked it over there so that is the processor and heat sink connected to the fan and the one last thing which is also incredibly important to remember this cable here and connector we need to plug in to the little fan connector and you definitely can't see this but just here it says CPU fan which is where we'll plug it in only goes in one way so you don't have to worry about that that clips in like that and that is your heatsink and processor installed so thank you very much for watching the next video we will install the RAM memory and I'll see you then